Hi, I'm Tony Attell, and I want to welcome all of you to um, my commercial class. Um, I thought I'd put together just a little tape on tips for acting for commercials, because I think it's a great way for a young actor to come to Los Angeles and make money and survive here. Whether you're thinking of coming, or you just got here, or you're just starting in the business, I think a 30 second commercial is the best way for you to make money and I'm here with some of my students and uh, they're going to be showing you a, a couple of techniques and I hope this helps you. I've written a, a small book with Carl Gottlieb called The Little Blue Book for Filmmakers and it's for writers, directors, actors and producers in case you want to look up any of this information in that book. But this is just a short little video to welcome you to Hollywood and the Hollywood style of acting and you out there who might be watching this. Um, casting directors and agents want new talent for commercials. And commercials are really the best way for you guys to break into this business. You get paid a session fee of usually, I don't know, 559 or 560, somewhere in that range. And forgive me if I'm not completely accurate because it keeps changing. And then every three months you get a residual check. And that residual check can be the same rate as the day rate, or if it's a wild spot, which means that it's going all over the United States, or if it's a local, that means it's just going maybe in Texas, or if it's what's called a national spot, which means it's going all over, and sometimes European and other countries, you get paid per spot for three months. So depending on what kind of spot it is, you can sometimes make up to $30,000 doing just one day of work in commercials. And it's really important to remember that commercial acting is totally different, you guys, than um, acting for TV and movies. Acting for TV and movies has many modalities, many te uh, techniques, all of them fabulous, all of them very good, taught by excellent teachers all through Hollywood. Acting for commercials is like a 30-second movie. And it's really, you really have to have a great attitude about it. You have to know your W's. Who are you talking to when you look into camera? What are you saying to them? And why are you saying this to them? And what is it you want from them? And it's very important, for example, I'm wearing big earrings. I, I want to wear them to illustrate to you. You never want to wear stuff like this on a commercial. You want to keep yourself simple with just a hint of perhaps a look. So if they ask you to uh, play a nurse or a doctor or an emergency person, you wouldn't come in in a full doctor outfit or a full um, um, uh, judge's outfit. You really want to just give a hint of it so that you don't look too anxious. And you must know that casting directors and agents are really on your side. You getting a commercial, A, makes some money, and B, they get to find a new face, and it makes their job a lot easier. So they really are happy for you. And if you even get the first call to go in, the first time you've already beat out them what, a thousand people. So you always want to keep a little notebook. Here's what I wore the first time that I went to the audition, so that when they call you back, you always wear the same mm -hmm. outfit. Women, don't wear gloss on your lips. Try and keep yourself natural looking. Less is more, less hair, less makeup. Keep that hair out of your face. And in commercial, there are really specific things you need to learn how to do. One is slating your name. So um, I think, uh, Georgina, you were going to volunteer. So Georgina's going to come up here and show you how to slate. Georgina Lind. Thank you, Georgina. Now, she had a nice style, which is um, a style that I particularly teach my students, which is when you're turning your body, you keep your head still looking so your body turns. Then your head turns with a smile. Your head comes back, your body follows, it turns, your face is still looking into camera, and you turn sideways and back. So that, thank you, Georgina, for doing that. And then, Hannah, you were going to come up, and this is the, the other important thing is how do you read cue cards? Cue cards and side sides are what the commercial written, is written on. You have to look at the words, but bring them back into camera. So Hannah was just going to show you how to do that a little bit. Know what's wrong with breakfast? It comes at the wrong time of day, like in the morning when I'm sleeping or cramming for an exam. There you go. Thank you, Hannah. Mm -hmm. Good. So you notice the cue card was to the side of the camera, but she, and you can look at it, but like a magician, she brings the words back into camera. I have some 
fun and wonderful students here. Do you, any of you have a question for me? I do. Thanks, Jesse. You bet. So, what are some of the biggest secrets between acting for TV commercials versus movies? Well, in a commercial, it's a 30 second movie. So you have to have a beginning, middle, and end of positive excitement. Um, it's usually about your attitude, Jesse, specifically. How do you feel about the product? You always feel really good. And <clears throat> who are you talking to? And what do you want from them? I like you to choose, where are you? Are you in the kitchen when the camera suddenly picks you up? If you visualize it and see it, and the camera picks you up and you're talking about something, it helps you, the actor, really get into feeling it. Does that, that, I think that's the big difference. I mean, you feel that in, 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 in a movie and, a, of course, a TV show, but you're not doing all these words in 30 seconds. Now, you might be just doing movement. I've noticed a lot of commercials um, are just movements. And that's another thing I wanted to recommend to all you out there, as well as in this class. Start watching people your age in commercials. What are they wearing? What type of roles are they playing? Is it speaking roles, non-speaking roles? And look at look at how to dress. Okay. Um, what should we wear for an audition? After you've studied commercials, again, remember, acting is a business. It's your business to watch TV. Look at the commercials. Look at what the people your age are wearing. Because you guys can be called at any time. At 10 o'clock, your agent can call you up and say, I want you out in Venice at 11. You have to have that in your car. Because while you're in Venice, they may call you and say, you've got another audition at 1.30 in the Valley. That's the other thing. You've really got to keep yourself remembering, this is a business. You can write off your mileage, too. So it's important to know that. Any acting you do, anything you do, if you keep your clothes in a different closet, you can take that off also as props, costumes, etc. Now, Jesse, his look would probably be very different. He could be the young athlete. You could be um, comical in the sense that you could be on a wonderful comedy show, and then you could probably switch and be on something that is, you know, one of these new fabulous shows that are out. So you might have like a blue denim shirt that you'd have in the back of your car, a pair of jeans, a pair of slacks, uh, a nice dress shirt, a, a, a coat, but also a rural look too that you could use, or even a college look. Don't let anyone persuade you differently. If you feel that this is your dream, follow it. You guys go for it, but treat it as a business and make it work for you. Commercials, are, I think, are a wonderful way to start. So I hope this helps you.